Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. Part four, our final episode of our Fireteam reviews. In part one, we checked out Fireteam Venom, part two, Fireteam Crimson, part three, Fireteam Eagle. And today we've saved the best to last by far, it's Sierra Squad. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Fireteam Crimson and Fireteam Eagle reviews are both up on Demarcation Media's channel as well, so you should check them out. But this Sierra Squad is something else, right? Five UNSC Marines from Halo 4, 5 era, a lot of different molds, and a nice little fire base with turrets. I'm really excited. Even a little tree, like this is definitely the one. I've already said you hit, the review is already complete. I know this is gonna be my favorite out of the four, but I'm sure there'll be some surprises in store as well. All right, would you look at this? Beautiful, beautiful. There's a few fire teams that just hit home so well. Sierra Squad, Oni Strike Team, Yankee Squad, pretty much any with Marines were just really flawless. We've got three different kinds of Marine here. Two, which are maskless, and there's two different skin tones, so kudos to Mega for that, very nice. Captain, two sort of heavy specialists, would you call them? I don't know exactly what their name is. Yeah, on Mega's website, they just name them as four Marines and one officer, so that's what we're gonna go with. I imagine these are kind of like heavy specialists, so that's what we'll call them in this review. And this set also released in 2015 alongside Fireteam Eagle. Crimson and Venom were a year before, so Mega had just started their uh, fire teams. Crimson and Venom were amongst the first ones. And then Mega just started getting really creative with uh, with their fire teams. They did a lot of things that uh, I didn't like, like they reduced the figure count from five to four. I've mentioned in all my other videos, I'll mention it in this one. It's not a good move. I just don't think that's a good idea at all, especially when the price is pretty much the same uh, across the board. Love the colors of this set. Lots of uh, deep greens, some olives. Like it's uh, really nice actually. Yeah, these bases are always very limited, but at the same time, it's a small piece count, and I just respect that Mega's trying to give us something to display our figures on. I really have no criticisms about these small diorama set pieces because, yeah, they 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 serve a small purpose, you know. Every set that I've bought so far from this guy have been 100% complete, which is such a nice thing. So we're attaching these barrels together, and then the chains feed round from the front to the side. Very cool. I love that. And again, on the other side, we're gonna feed that round. What nice chains. Ah, and we're gonna spin them round to the side so the chains are at the back and then we're going to have the turrets on the front. Mega have done so many different turret designs over the years. If anybody has a 100% complete collection, I would love someone to make a video on how many chains, machine guns, and like diff different turrets Mega have made over the years, because it's an extraordinary amount. And then some slanty pieces on top. Gorgeous, man. What a nice, clean design. Those turrets can move slightly. It has enough weight and depth to it to actually be a believable turret. And look at that. We're just going to insert that right on the top. This seems like some kind of automated turret. This I don't think this is operated by anyone, particularly the fact that there's no room at the back to hold it. This is probably just an auto cannon, which also a big fan of. Very like Halo Wars-esque. I like it. So there's our flag. We've got a lot of weapons we've got to gather up and a nice backpack or two or three or four. An ammunition crate is always greatly appreciated appreciated and a nice little piece at the back to hold in our flag. They always have those hollow pieces to hold the flag in place. Not sure why, because the hollow pieces are the exact same as a stud, but maybe there's some science behind it. Pressure of that little hole in the middle of the stud might keep the piece in more securely. I don't know. It's funny, because when one of the new Mega Constructs micro helmets got announced, everyone was most excited about the tree that was in the set. I get it, it's a nice tree. I, I love trees and foliage in my sets. And that leaves these two pieces. Oh, they're meant to go on the side of the turret, I see. Very nice, give that turret even more depth. Look at that. that is awesome. Weapons, we have got so many. Look at this, so many weapons. I kind of criticized Fireteam Eagle for only having like five weapons, but at the same time, it was just all of the Promethean weapons that we only have five to go off. So I guess it made sense to me. The radio backpack will of course go to the commanding officer. Then we've got four backpacks, one for each of the Marines. A really great touch. I know the community is very excited about the new ODST backpack that's coming in the Hive Exterminator set. I am equally hyped about that. Two assault rifles, 
battle rifles, saw, tactical shotgun, SOCOM, grenade launcher, sniper rifle, rocket launcher. Yes, that is some real amount of weapons in a set. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine for five characters. That's pretty outrageous. So as always, I like people to rate my weapon allocation in the comments down below. Did I give the correct weapons to the correct figures? Commanding officer in assault rifle, a spanker rocket launcher for you, a sniper rifle for you. I'd imagine maybe this visor has an uplink to the sniper rifle, so it might be of a benefit for you to use it. And then the two marines, we're gonna give one a battle rifle and one a saw. Okay, very nice. Now, as always, I'm gonna flip this camera around and we're gonna set them up in a diorama. Alrighty then, the final of the four. I put a little more care and detail into this diorama than the other three, or certainly the most care and detail. I just really love these Marines. I feel like they're very humanized and I wanted to give them a nice touch. We've got the captain with another Marine just having a little discussion at the front of the base. We've got the sniper just chilling on his perch. I moved the turret up so he could sit nicely. He's just gazing out into the distance. Um, I think they're all pretty off guard right now. They're just sort of watching their outpost. They don't know what's coming next. This guy just checking out a rocket launcher from the weapons crate and this one around the back with the saw. Just a really, really wholesome all-rounded set, like a great squad to have in your diorama. Same with like Oni Strike Team and Fire Team Shadow. They're all really good. The same as all of these, really. I mean, they are all quality sets and I'm really happy to dig back into that 2014-2015 nostalgia. Four reviews in a row of some of my favorite sets, some uh, that I'm sure the comments will be filled with nostalgia comments saying, hey, these uh, were really something back in the day. And I agree, they were they were great. Mega shout out to you all and shout out to everybody who supported this series, all four episodes. And you can check Fireteam Crimson and Eagles reviews out on Demarcation Media's channel. As always, guys, you stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks. Let me know in the comments down below if you have managed to bag this set before or maybe it's higher on your agenda right now because this review, I, I think, clearly showed how dope it is, especially that turret. The amount of weapons, the amount of dope characters, especially three different kind of marines and two different skin tones, is just great. So check out all of the other reviews on the channel and have a great day. The Domain is signing off.